personhood or corporate constitutional rights is not just a stupid idea, which it is. It's not just illogical, which it is. Corporate personhood is not just legally indefensible, which it is. Corporate constitutional rights is a linchpin for how the ruling elite have been able to hijack our entire country. It's not getting you to applaud that. Because here's the thing, y'all. It's not just the Citizens United versus Federal Election Commission case. That case is horrific, to be sure. It's opened the floodgates to more corporate money than we've ever seen in our electoral process. But for 125 years, the ruling elite have marched into court and overturned democratically enacted laws that attempt to protect the environment, that attempt to protect workers, that attempt to protect the public safety, that attempt to protect the public health. Corporate constitutional rights is a linchpin for why we're living in a society that we want, don't want to live in. And think about it. We work our asses off to try to get laws enacted or changed. We work our butts off for it. And we know that we have to watch out because corporate lawyers might come waltzing in any moment and argue, and oftentimes successfully argue, that that law somehow violates a corporation's rights. Well, you know what? A corporation is not a human. They don't have belly buttons. They don't have hearts, they don't have minds, they don't have a conscience, they do not have any rights that are inherent and inalienable. Corporations can and should exist, but they should never be able to overturn our laws. And that's why we need a movement today. We need a movement like the abolitionist movement, like the women's movement, like the civil rights movement. We need a movement that's going to stand up and assert our right to sovereignty, our right to govern ourselves. And so I'm going to close by inviting you to join this movement. There is a broad coalition. It's multiracial. It's multi-ethnic. It covers the entire geography of the United States of America. It's called Move to Amend. And we are very clear. We are unapologetic. We are calling to amend the U.S. Constitution because this is the supreme law of the land. And we're taking that seriously and we're taking ourselves seriously. We're not just going to argue at the margins. We're not going to beg anybody. We're going to say this whole structure has to change and the way it's going to change is that individuals are going to start by telling each other the truth and we're going to start organizing together. We're going to start making demands that are different. We're going to follow the model of what the global south has been doing for decades and we're going to replicate that. We're going to learn from our sisters and brothers in the global south about what real movements do. And if you want to join this movement, I'm going to ask my colleague Margaret to please pass out this petition. And before I do, as that comes around, I want to be very clear. This petition is not going to be submitted on bended knee to any official. This, sisters and brothers, is an organizing petition. By that I mean this. We are building power together and collectively. When you sign that petition, you're saying, I'm down. I want to be in on this. And if you actually want not only to join the movement, but actually take it to the next step and actually say, I've helped to organize in Whittier, a affiliate of Move to Amend. There are already 20 affiliates across the country as I travel around. This is growing like wildfire. We've got people in Santa Monica. We've got uh, people in Pasadena. LA is so damn big, y'all. We can't just have one Los Angeles move to men, right? We need one in Whittier. We need one in Hollywood. We need one in Santa Monica. So if anybody wants to become an organizer, put an asterisk by your name. The last thing I'll say about this petition is this. If you're, look, you don't have to sign it, right? If you don't want to join this movement, I will not be personally insulted. I will be very surprised, but I won't be insulted. If you don't want to sign it, just pass it. But if you do want to sign, I have one request. And Matt will know this as an organizer. Please print legibly. <laughs> right? As an organizer, Matt, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing so frustrating as to see a name, and maybe it's got that asterisk, like, yeah, I'll help. And you're like, blah, 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 blah. oh, and their telephone number is, <laughs> it looks like a nine, three, or an eight. Y'all, give us a way to get in touch with you, right? All right, so here's the thing. As that goes around, my colleague Margaret Coster will also pass out brochures so you can get these.